New today, one of the survivors of the school shooting in the district last week is sharing her horrifying story. A 16 year old student describes the terrifying moments when a gunman opened fire at the Edmund Burke School in Van Ness. With the approval of her mother, she sat down with our Mark Seagraves and talked about caring for a wounded friend and explains why she believes this was a targeted school shooting. Mark joins us now live from outside the Edmund Burke School with more on this terrifying account. Mark. Yeah, absolutely, Jim. Sienna Manitas is a sophomore here at Edmund Burke, and she told us not only about helping a student who had been wounded, but also about seeing herself in the sniper's video that he released on social media and what that did to her as she was trying to figure out what was going on outside while they sheltered in place. You can take a look at the school here now. They have covered up that walkway that was the glass walkway. She had walked about a third of the way across when the gunman started to open and fire. <laughs> Today was supposed to be a field day for Sienna Manitos and her 10th grade classmates at Edmund Burke. We were all really looking forward to it, but not anymore. Instead, Sienna is home with her mom. Her school closed after a gunman fired at least 200 bullets from this apartment above the school. Sienna was walking from the middle school to the upper school when the bullets began tearing through the glass and steel walkway. It looked like it was an explosion because of how fast the bullet was moving. Both sides of the glass shattered at the same time. And I turned around and I ran into the theater. I had a little bit of glass on my arm. Um, it's, it was pretty superficial. It's all gone now, but um, I had a cut in my hand. Um, I had glass in my mouth because my mouth was open and I was screaming. As she made it to safety, she was followed by another student who had been injured. They had a lot of blood, like all over their arm. Um, it was on the floor, it was on their jacket, it was on everyone's clothes. I took off my jacket and I kind of like wrapped it around the person's arm. Police eventually found them and took the injured student out, but Sienna and the others remained sheltered in place for hours. I was scrolling through Twitter to try to figure out what was going on because nobody had any idea what was going on. And then um, the video came out. News 4 is not showing the video the gunman posted on social media during the shooting. I recognized myself in the video, you know, like turning around, trying to run away. And that was like the scariest part of it for me. Asked about going back to school. I want things to go back to normal. I want to see my friends again. I want to learn again. But I just don't know how I'm going to feel when I walk into the school. One thing Sienna is sure of. What happened here last Friday should be considered a school shooting. He posted the video with the caption school shooting and he updated our Wikipedia page to say scene of a school shooting, scene of a school shooting. Um, I hope he gets caught. So it seems very targeted. The people that are feeling the main effects of this are the students of Burke because we can't go back to our school because it's a crime scene. When I watch the video over and over again and I see this target on my back and on the back of the other students at my school, that feels pretty targeted to me. Yeah, a very honest account from a very brave young woman. You know, earlier in the week, we asked Chief Conti whether the school was the target uh, of the gunman. He said it was impossible to say just yet if that was the intended target, but he said in his gut that he felt that it was because in his words, he did what he intended to do. That's the very latest here outside of Edmund Burke. Jim, back to you. Mm -hmm. The wherewithal.